Today's apologists claim beneficial mutations have never been observed. Creationists often claim that no one has ever observed the appearance of new genetic information, and certainly no beneficial mutations. In actual fact, we have documented a wide variety of beneficial mutations that have appeared within human history. However, here I'm going to mention just a few of the examples of beneficial mutations that I find especially interesting and compelling. In 1975, scientists discovered a bacterium that consumed nylon waste products as its only food source. Nylon is a synthetic chemical that had been invented just 40 years earlier, in 1935. The researchers discovered that a single beneficial mutation in the bacterium likely randomized the original gene, causing the production of three significantly unique enzymes that were effective only for digesting nylon waste products. In 1995, a slew crayfish egg in a German aquarium acquired a mutation that gave the offspring three sets of chromosomes instead of the usual two. This created a new, all-female species called a marbled crayfish. The mutation both changed the physical appearance of the crayfish and allowed it to reproduce parthenogenetically, meaning it could reproduce asexually. Unfortunately, the aquarium owner apparently released this new species into the wild, and since it can consume nearly anything, the marbled crayfish is rapidly reproducing and invading waterways throughout Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia, outcompeting and displacing other crayfish species. In 2021, researchers discovered a mutation in zebrafish that caused the growth of two new limb bones connected to the pectoral fins. These bones included articulating joints and musculature, providing the initial step for lobe-finned evolution similar to what biologists predicted occurred in the evolution of the first land vertebrates. In controlled laboratory experiments, the extremely short generations of bacteria allow researchers to observe the evolution of new and beneficial mutations much more easily than in species with longer generations. The megaplate experiment, for example, shows bacterial evolution in action as new mutations appear that allow the species to become immune to increasing degrees of toxins. You can even watch videos of the process occurring almost in real time. Bacterial growth slows until a beneficial mutation appears, which then allows the population to expand into a new environment. But one of the clearest examples of the appearance of beneficial mutations observed under lab conditions is the Lenski Long-Term Evolution Experiment, or LTEE. First, it's important to know that E. coli bacteria is defined as a species in part by its inability to consume citrate as fuel in an oxygenated environment. And even those strains that can consume citrate in a non-oxygen environment require separate carbon and energy sources to do so. In the LTEE, researchers subjected 12 populations of E. coli bacteria to an extremely simple and stable environment for close to 100,000 generations and counting. Although the unvarying environment discourages evolution beyond the initial optimization phase, the E. coli bacteria nevertheless accumulated beneficial mutations that evolved the species to become larger and reproduce 70% faster. And each of the 12 populations has evolved to be significantly different genetically. But the biggest development occurred 15 years into the experiment when, as a result of a gene duplication mutation, one of the populations of E. coli evolved the ability to digest citrate in an oxygen environment and without a separate carbon source. It's worth emphasizing that the citrate-consuming mutation did not exist in the initial population, otherwise it would have become the dominant strain as soon as the primary food supply had run out. By appearing 15 years later, we have clear evidence that a mutation to an existing genome can cause the random appearance of a beneficial new trait, and that natural selection can cause that trait to spread throughout an entire population. That's evolution. Sure, to see the evidence of more dramatic evolution, we have to look at the fossil and genetic records, 
But the creationist claim that beneficial mutations have never been observed is simply wrong. One last thing I would like to add is that many creationists respond to the evidence of bacterial evolution by saying, but bacteria are still bacteria. That's true, but bacteria are a domain, which is near the top of the taxonomic chart, not a species, which is near the bottom. So saying bacteria are still bacteria is essentially the same thing as pointing to the line of evidence showing fish evolving into humans and saying, but animals are still animals. Yes, they are. No matter how dramatically an animal species evolves, it's still going to be an animal. And no matter how dramatically a bacterial species evolves, it's still going to be a bacterium. All species carry the genetic legacy of our earliest ancestors.